To Capitol Hill now, where the Senate approved a humanitarian and military assistance package for Ukraine. And then at the White House, President Biden hosted the leaders of Finland and Sweden. As CBS 2's Natalie Brand reports, having witnessed the Russian invasion of Ukraine, both countries want to join NATO. President Biden called it a momentous day, telling the leaders of Finland and Sweden they have the full backing of the U.S. a day after the country applied for NATO membership. Having two new NATO members in the high north will enhance the security of our alliance and deepen our security cooperation across the board. Finland, which shares an 800-mile-long border with Russia, and Sweden have historically remained neutral. But public sentiment in the countries has changed following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. After 200 years of military non-alignment, Sweden has chosen a new path. Joining the defense alliance requires unanimous approval from current members, but Turkey has voiced opposition. We are open to discussing all the concerns Turkey may have. Three weeks after President Biden's initial request for additional military and humanitarian aid for Ukraine, the U.S. Senate has passed a nearly $40 billion package. But 11 Republicans, including Kentucky's Rand Paul, who held up the vote for a week, opposed the measure. There is no free lunch. $40 billion cannot be created out of thin air. It appears more and more MAGA Republicans are on the same soft on Putin playbook that we saw used by former President Trump. Lawmakers also welcomed the leaders of Finland and Sweden to Capitol Hill. Senate leaders say they will work swiftly in their role to assist U.S. approval of their NATO applications. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington. And late this afternoon, the president left for Asia, where he will visit South Korea and then travel to Japan for the Quad Summit.